Hello guys, welcome to another video of Renzer0.com City of Challenges and today we are doing this ASCII art challenge. So what is the challenge then? Uh, we have some ASCII art characters here and we have to read them and send them back using this URL but we have to do all that in 2 seconds means we have to code that. So let's do this, let's code the problem. But uh, let's firstly roadmap how I'll do that. So what I'm thinking is copying all the characters to a file, all the possible characters to a file and then compare them and get uh, which uh, and using that we can get that uh, what's the character, right? So I have already prepared and then ASCII text dot uh, ASCII dot text file. So in this file we have uh, 6 characters 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and those are the only possible characters which are coming in here. So I have tried to refresh many times and none other than uh, this these characters are there. So let's get to coding right. So I have built an ape.py now let's import the requests module and also import the regular expressions module now requests dot get this URL uh, with some cookies uh, yes PHP session ID PHP SE dot S I D and the value is this dot text this is our data and we are going to now print the data this should work probably let's see here we go so I think we have our data here yes this is our data now we have to extract these data out from this whole bunch of code in the page. So let's do that. We'll do that using regular expressions. So I'm going to my favorite website regex101.com. It's a nice website for uh, learning, practicing and even using the regular expressions. Uh, so let's build a regular expression to extract this data uh, I am using positive look behind to give the starting point of the data and I am using look forward is this look forward uh, look ahead okay so I am using look ahead uh, to set the ending point of the data here we go and this is probably it and I am getting my data what's in here so I am just copying this regular expression and paste in here Regu data is equals to re dot search with this regular expression uh, this data perfect uh, first group is our data uh, now let's print the data again and see how it goes nice now I am uh, what I am going to do is replacing all this br tags with uh, new line characters and all these nbsps with a space characters so that we can get something like this so it would be easy to compare them so what I am going to do is I am going to replace so data is equals to data dot replace all the mm, br characters with some new line characters and also replace all the nbs nbsp characters with some space let's see okay it's looking 
something similar to that so here we are but we can see that there are some spaces between the uh, words or between the letters so what I'm I'll do is I'll also replace um, those double new line characters which cause these spaces to remove the space with a single new line character this will probably uh, replace all the spaces in between the letters and our letters will be like this so let's do that let's run that again and here we go now I, uh, we can see that uh, no new line characters are there right perfect but still there is a problem uh, this upper space is taking a lot of space here so what I'll do is I'll firstly convert all the new line uh, character I'll split it and set it into array using a new line character and then we'll see what happens so I am running again and here we go I want to remove these three from top and these three from bottom right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, simply uh, splitting it or cutting it from plus three to minus three and this would be probably our data right Oh, perfect uh, now what I'll do is I'll uh, convert them to array so for that I'm going to uh, write the web numbers web numbers variable so our web numbers variable is an array and for I in range Hmm, 0 2 now we know that the length of these is uh, 50 because it always have 10 characters in here 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 6 7 8 9 10 so always there are 10 characters so the length is 50 so hmm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to looping it through 10 times 0 to 9 and then uh, I'm going to grab from um, so web numbers uh, web numbers in which n is capital web numbers dot append or push we can say and I'm shifting the data from uh, what I we can say I into 5 to i into 5 plus 5 let's see what happens and after that i will print the web numbers web numbers mm. so it will still push the array right so let's join them i'll join them using a new line character and then dot join this this would be much better uh, and it would be easy to compare so let's see okay indices must be integers or slides slices not tuple so indices must be integers or slices not tuple okay so slash and join data i into 5 and i into 5 plus 5 what i am thinking is just remove the join and let's see what happens so again doing this okay indices must be integers so i into 5 is 0 and i into 5 and 0 plus 5 is 0 uh, 0 plus 5 is 5 to 0 to 5 okay and so uh, that was close and <laughs> okay uh, so what I'm going to do is slash n slash join and the mistake was here 
comma should not be here and then perfect so i got each and every characters here now what just i want to do is i want to do the same here with ascii dot text and i'll compare them so i'll do it in uh, for i in range uh, 0 to uh, 6 or 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so, so then 6 and then uh, instead of web numbers these are real numbers which are blank and I am putting uh, nums is equals to open the file ASCII dot txt and then read the data from that perfect uh, then real numbers dot append and then again slash n uh, or let's you know what mm, this will read the whole file right so let's split it to split split it using slash n and then joining it again using slash n five lines each so dot j o i n join the nums uh, from i into five to i into 5 plus 5 this would be nice and then mm, printing real numbers real numbers let's see what this says oh so here we are we've got the numbers now what we have to do is simply loop through and get the number so mm, posted number is equals to let's make it blank right it's in uh, text now for i in range uh, for i in web numbers for j in real numbers if i equals j posted number plus equals to uh, the j right stringify of j no 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 so instead of j what i can do is for j in range uh, for j in range 0 to length of real numbers yes now because i need to keep track of this that index right so uh, real numbers of j and now i will do plus is equals to j stringify j and then i will print this posted number let's see i think this should work and okay double zero nice so i am getting five and five ten characters perfect now uh, the last thing we need to do is we need to call back to this url simply so this would be a line of code uh, this posted number plus this url and we are going to request dot get uh, requests dot get to this using the same cookies i'll prefer copy and paste and here is a flag data and I'll extract flag from it. So let's 
print it out uh, print flag data let's see okay so here we are let's look if we got a flag so here is a flag so i'll uh, try to extract this flag also using this div so let's do this let's copy it from here go to online regex and set the starting as uh, set the starting as div and class is equals to escape character flag escape character this and I'll end it with something like closing div and this works so I'll grab that I'll put it in here uh, flag equals re dot search for this in our flag data and get the first group of it perfect and here is our flag let's print it out here we go oh sorry so here is our flag let's redirect it to flag dot txt here is our flag just copy it down pasting it here get the points paste the flag uh, do we get point no we have to paste it again do we okay we got, we got the point nice this was easy and quick so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one